Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some St. Louis butter cake from Mama Bev's Bakery. These were sent to us from Georgian, so thank you very much to Georgian. We have the chocolate fudge, the peanut butter cookie. And a salted caramel and pecan pie. So, uh, like I said, Georgian sent these to us and we have actually reviewed four, uh, three of these in the past because Georgian was kind enough to send them to us. Three different flavors. Three different flavors. We have tried the classic, the caramel apple, and the raspberry. These are not something that we get in our area, that we've ever seen in our area. Uh, so we're always grateful to Georgian uh, when she sends us stuff like this that we can't find here. So the chocolate fudge sounded like it would be a, uh, probably out of these flavors, uh, one of the um, plainest. So that's why I figured we would try it first. So these are made in Hell's Corners, Wisconsin. And forgive me, my voice is a little bit raspy, uh, but I can, taste fun. I can taste fun. Um, you do it however you want to do it. I don't, can you not? Okay, well, you might have to just get it. If you can't get it out of there, then you'll have to get a different knife. And because I, I got Kevin a huge knife, <laughs> and because I, I was thinking we would take them out of the package, um, and get it out, it's just a matter of because what I think, uh, we will store these in the refrigerator. And if we go ahead and slice it like instead of like a piece of butter cake, but like a piece of fudge then we can go ahead and have it <coughs> cut in the squares and just get it out when we want it in the refrigerator. Um, but it's mamabevs.com. It says uh, six by six uh, size is 15 ounces. Mm. There are five servings in each uh, butter cake and a three ounce 85 gram piece is 320 calories. So you're saying this is not a low calorie, low calorie cake? Did you think it would be? No. Okay, so chocolate fudge. Take whatever piece. There we go. I immediately love the texture. The texture is wonderful. It is just like. If you've had a um, ooey gooey butter cake, that's that is what that tastes like. Yep. It tastes like very an, squishy. Yes, an ooey gooey butter cake. It uh, there's a little um, bit of that crust, that um, the crispiness, yep. but just a little bit. Most yep. of it is very ooey and gooey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's like a a brownie you haven't quite baked enough. Yeah, my favorite kind. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, my kind favorite of that, kind of It's bread. a little softer than that, but it's it reminds you of that. What did you think of the chocolate flavor? Um, it's light. I mean, you can tell it's chocolate, but it's not as strong as like a chocolate cake or a chocolate brownie. It's not quite that strong. I agree. I agree. Um, but it's good. Yes. Chocolate brownies have a stronger chocolate flavor, but um, I just love this. And when you look at it, I'm going to have pictures at the end. You're going to be able to see. I mean, it just... This is the ultimate texture. I would make them like this. Brownies, I'd make them like that all the time if I could. Um, this one is going to be peanut butter cookie. And I'm, out of all these, I'm most excited about the peanut butter cookie just because I like oh, peanut butter. So I don't know the plastic wrap. They're, yeah, the boxes are a little bit different. I did notice that some of them are like turned different and... Yeah, this one had uh, the label was a little bit different, so yeah. Um, Double wrap. Hey, you never can be too careful. Maybe That's, it's to keep the smells in, the peanut butter oh, smells. Yeah. So this is about five servings, three ounces, it's 340 calories. So this is 20, um, uh, 20 additional calories from the, the chocolate. Uh, which I fully expect with peanut butter. And you can't pick them up in one hunk. It's just you got to be careful. This, I like doing it this way, like I said, just so that we can go ahead and slice it. And you don't have to fold the box anymore. Now, could you keep it in the box? Absolutely. Right. Just use a butter knife and you can absolutely keep it in the box. Super soft. 
it, uh, it, it looks like a soft peanut butter cookie. Let's just take that one. <laughs> It also reminds you, the texture reminds you of uh, a cake that's a little underbaked as well. Kind of similar. Actually, probably more like an underbaked cake than an underbaked brownie. See, to me, it more reminds me of brownie. Does because it? cake is fluffy. That's true. This is dense. Cake is fluffy. This is dense. Mm. That's good, too. Again, the flavor's a little light, but... It is light. 100% it is... no, it's peanut butter. Yes, but... Yes, you do know it's peanut butter. Um, it, it's a nice, sweet peanut butter. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of salt from it. Yeah, the cookie, the flavor that settles in is like a peanut butter cookie. That's what you're well, kind of left with. When that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's what they, why they Like call an old school, classic peanut butter cookie. That, yes. That's the flavor you're left with. It's delicious. I like that one more than the chocolate. Um, they're about equal for me. Oh, and this the, one, the calories are on Oh, see, <laughs> they're all a little bit different. It's weird. It's it's well, oh, you you wonder if they're packaging them in house, and it's like is a different person coming into work? Yeah, do a different one. Yeah, because this one the label stuck on the yeah. Literally, package. the label is. I mean, they're, they're they're just all a little bit different. They're just, and you would think they would they would be exactly the same. Definitely not a machine. I wouldn't think. Okay. So this one is salted caramel. And this is the lowest calorie one so far. This one is 310 calories for um, 85 grams. Interesting. And this that is one, that many calories. Huh? That is that many calories. Well, they're all that many. I mean, yeah, the okay. peanut butter was 340, the chocolate was 320, so this one's only 310. Now I expect this last one to be the highest. Uh, I think it's the same as, yeah, no, it's, it, 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 oh, okay. The last one is actually lower than the peanut powder. The peanut butter is the highest one. Well, this one's sticky on the bottom. It is sticky, but it's salted caramel, so. There we go. Yeah. And you get, um, like, butter, like, oil on your hands. Like you would expect from an Ibu Gooey butter cake. I don't think that name is trademarked, do you? I don't know. Because a lot of or is people- that a kind of cake, not necessarily a name of a cake? I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't think it would be trademarked though. Okay, salted caramel. Mm. My fingers are progressively getting stickier and stickier. That's the strongest one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, it's a good strong car. Oh, you think so? Oh, yeah. That is. It's got a really good caramel flavor. It has caramel, but it is also salty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. I really like that. And, boy, see, to me, it's tough because, because I'm a peanut butter fanatic. I still think I'm gonna choose, out of these three, I still think I'm gonna choose the peanut butter first. And this one's just in the truck. No, uh, this is the pecan pie. Um, I still think I'm gonna choose the peanut butter first, but boy, I do love that salted caramel uh, because it is so strong and so very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's why I'm choosing, believe it or not, that's why I'm choosing the peanut butter over the caramel because the peanut butter isn't as sweet as the salted caramel. I'm actually choosing something that is a little less sweet. So, shock, shock it to everybody. Okay, I don't even know if I can get this one out. Okay, that's okay. You could just cut it on the edge with the knife. Because it's, um. That's okay. It's stuck really good. And this is the pecan <laughs> pie, and it's 330 calories for five servings. It's by far the stickiest. I love uh, pecans and pecan pie. Yeah. And were those little, were they called mini pecan pies that you've made? Little pecan tarts. Pecan tarts, that's what they were called. I knew they weren't called pecan pie. Pecan tarts. Mm. That one's really good too. 
they're all excellent. Truthfully, they're they're all there's nothing wrong with any of them. I like how they capture the flavor of a pecan pie mm -hmm. in this. Even though it's got some of the glaze on it, but you know the pecan pie has really got a thick layer of that goopy kind of stuff. It's got a little bit of that on top, but it gets the flavor of the goopy stuff, mm -hmm. um, the center of the pie, really well. I didn't get the pecan flavor super strong, but the pecans are there. It depends oh, yeah. on how much of the pecans you get, I think. Right. Anything. And that one is like that one's delicious too. Mm -hmm. Um, salted caramel is my favorite. Okay. Um, then I'd probably go with the pecan pie. Okay. And my order is completely different. I'm going to go with the peanut butter, but then I'm going to go with the pecan pie. Yeah. And then I'm going to go with salted caramel and lastly chocolate. Chocolate's good. It's just not a really, really strong flavor. Right. But the texture of these is like five out of five. Oh, yeah. It's out of this world. Yeah. If you like that goopy kind of soft texture, um, sticky almost, um, texture syrupy even, um, you'll love these. Yes, they're, they're it's very good. wonderful. And I wonder if they mail. If they, uh, if you go to mamabevs.com, if they mail these to you, I have no idea no because George Ann bought them to us. I don't know if she went to get them. I don't know how that went. Uh, but if you have these in your area, don't hesitate to buy one because yeah, it's really absolutely good. delicious. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.